I might have accidentally found one of the best, if not the best, aluminum case out there for the Insta360 X3. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lawrence and you're watching Unruptured TV. I'm an overseas Filipino worker based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and in this channel, I do random stuff. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what could potentially be one of the best, if not the best, aluminum case out there for your Insta360 X3. I'm actually talking about the Palouse Insta360 X3 aluminum frame that comes with a protective lens. Yes, you heard it right, it comes with a protective lens. During the time of this recording, I'm not using any protective lenses or steel frames on the camera not unless I'm mounting it on my helmet. I have a aluminum frame here that came in with my camera when I initially purchased the 360 a month ago. That's the only time that I use a steel frame. That's an aftermarket, unbranded, generic, whatever you want to call it, steel frame. About a week or so, I decided to remove these Insta360 ONE X3 lens guards because we are very much aware of how these things can actually mess up your footages. I spent numerous hours looking for the best possible solution so that I can add a protective lens whenever I feel like using it and remove it instantly without having to worry about using these, you know sticky things and i'm pretty sure that every single 360 user knows how important it is to protect your lenses at all times because they are very susceptible to scratches i would also like to extend a special thank you to two of our newfound friends from the insta 360 users ph group mr angelo ibarrientos and john errol francisco for allowing us to use a part of their clips in this video let me just also remind you that i'm not being paid to do this video so basically what you're gonna hear from me are all my honest and unbiased opinions and i'll be giving you the pros and cons to get with my recommendations by the end of this video so this is how my insta360 x3 looks like right now without any aluminum frames no lens guards but i left the screen protector on it the palouse insta360 x3 aluminum case comes in a fabric carrying case together with your warranty card your aluminum frame removable front and rear lens guards a cleaning fabric allen key and an optional two-headed mount should you decide to pair this with your old action camera mount Installing the aluminum frame is very straightforward. All you need to do is just to use the Allen key that came with the package and you're good to go. Once you're done installing the frame, the next thing that you would have to do is to install the removable lenses. And this is the reason why I'm showing you these grooves or treads because that's where these lenses go. The installation of the removable lens guard is very straightforward. All you have to do is just to align the lens against the corresponding cutouts on the aluminum frame, turn the guard clockwise, and you're good to go. Here are a few reminders before installing the lens guards. Number one, make sure that both the Insta360 lens and the inner part of the lens guards are clean to prevent any smudges from within. Number two, don't be too harsh when it comes to screwing the lens guards in because if one day you suddenly woke up and decided not to take any risky shots for the day and you've actually screwed it in as if you didn't really have any intentions of removing it, chances are it's really gonna be hard to remove and please don't make the same mistake that I did. Now that we have successfully installed the aluminum frame and the front and rear protective lenses on the Insta360 X3, we can now move on to our indoor video test. I have the camera on automatic mode, I'm shooting at 5K 30fps on vivid profile and I am surprised. It's not perfect but you can't even tell where the stitch line is. Not unless you're gonna pick up the camera and start walking with it, then you can clearly see where the stitch line is. However, again, however, this is not something that you have to be worried about, most especially if you're using the Insta360 Studio either on your mobile phone or on your desktop because, 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 because you could just simply pick any of these options right here depending on which accessory you are currently using. And the stitch line goes away just as that with a click of a button. Easy, right? 
Now let's try it indoors under medium to low light conditions. Still shooting in 5K 30fps, vivid color profile and full automatic without any adjustments in post and I'm still personally happy with what I see. Now it's time to take our Insta360 X3 out for a spin on a bright sunny day together with our Peluz aluminum frame and front and rear protective lenses. The reason you're seeing this artifact on the screen right now which happens to be the stitch line is because I forgot to change the stitching property on the Insta360 Studio before I exported the video. Similar to our indoor test, I did not make any changes or any adjustments in post. This is as raw as it can get. I'm shooting in full automatic, 5K 30fps, vivid color profile, and that's it. Night shots is where it gets a little bit tricky. In these next clips, you can clearly tell that night shots and protective lenses are not a good combination. So it isn't the perfect shot, I would say that this is still usable for me. However, you can see that these multiple sources of light are actually causing these artifacts to show up on the video and it's very evident here on the left hand side. You can see that it's like glaring through the lens which doesn't really surprise me because this is something that I know before I even bought the Insta360 X3. So it's either you use the protective lens and sacrifice a little bit of quality or you take the risk of permanently damaging your Insta360 lens because you chose to run without a protective lens. At the end of the day, it's still your choice to make. By the way, for the first and second night shots, with and without the lens protector, I was shooting in full automatic 5K 30fps using the vivid color profile without any color adjustments made on post. Now after all that has been said about the product, let's quickly wrap things up and talk about the pros and the cons. Number 1. Price the Palouse metal frame with lens protector retails at 40 US dollars or 2100 Philippine pesos, which is a far more cheaper option compared to the Insta360 X3 utility frame that retails at 60 US dollars or 3200 Philippine pesos. Number two, weight and form factor. For the price that you pay, the Palouse metal frame for Insta360 X3 has a sturdy, slim form factor that only weighs about 3.84 ounces or a little less than 110 grams, which makes it compact, easy to carry, and will add little to no no extra weight while being used. Number 3. Comprehensive Protection The frame effectively protects the camera when dropped accidentally and the alloy frame increases the heat dissipation of the camera preventing it from overheating and crashing. Number 4. Compatibility The bottom of the frame has a quarter of an inch screw port or a mounting base which can be connected to a tripod or a selfie stick. And Number 5. Highlight Transmittance with the lens protector on, it can effectively prevent the camera lens from being scratched and the lens also has high light transmittance which does not affect the quality of the videos in bright shooting conditions. Now let's move on to the cons. Number 1. No rubber lens cap Though the Palouse metal frame comes with a removable lens protector, it does not come with a rubber lens cap not unlike the original Insta360 X3 utility frame or the Imagine Metal Rabbit cage. Number 2. The lens protector does not do a very great job when it comes to night shots, most especially when running through multiple sources of light. Though, I mentioned earlier that the protective lens does not go very well with night runs through multiple sources of light, you also have the option to quickly remove both lens guards to get a better image or video quality. Number 3. There is not a single cold shoe mount for additional accessories to be attached. And number 4. Though it comes with a removable lens, that doesn't mean you can buy a separate lens in case you lose it, you break it, you scratch it, you trash it, or whatever it is, you're gonna have to end up buying a new set of frame together with a removable lens in case those things happen. So will I recommend the Palouse Metal Frame with removable lens guards to Insta360 X3 users? I would definitely recommend it to someone who might feel the need to remove the lens guards once in a while depending on the shooting conditions without having to worry about going through the trouble of removing the sticky lens guards from Insta360 because let's be real here, Insta360 did a great job making sure that those lens guards doesn't fall off easily. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you're a content creator, keep creating those videos even if nobody is watching. Eventually, someone will do. My name is Lawrence and you're watching Unruptured TV. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.